One day during a cross-country flight, I was enjoying my airtime as suddenly I got an unexpected critical flam warning. I assumed that the connection between the flams of our two aircraft was not ideal. I would estimate the closest distance between us to about only 50 meters. This situation encouraged me to install such a canopy mounted strobe light on my silent to electro. Those forward facing devices are designed to improve the visibility of small general aviation aircraft. They are installed in the front part inside of the guider's canopy. They are designed to fit exactly on the canopy so that there are no reflections which could distract the pilot. Thanks to the low consumption, power supply is not an issue anymore. So let's get right into it and start with the installation. The first step is to clean the canopy and especially the place where the canopy mounted strobe should be attached later on. So in the next step, I'm attaching a tape Close the canopy and check if it's really in the center of the canopy. Okay. The next step is to attach such a mask. This mask shows the exact position of the device and is being attached from the outside. The manufacturer delivers suggestions of where to place the strobe light for different guider types. In most cases it is recommended to put it as forward as possible. But with the Silent 2 Electro things are a bit different. The locking mechanism of the forward opening canopy must be checked closed from outside. As I want that this is still possible, I decided to install the strobe light a bit backwards. Those are the indicators for the outline of the strobe. Now I'm going to peel off the mask and attach it to the canopy. The mask is to fix the position of the strobe. Okay, so I check that the mask is in the middle also of my white tape. At the end this is going to be the final position of the strobe. The next step is to attach the strobe onto the canopy. Now I have to act very carefully. Ah. First I have to remove the cover of the mask. I already was wondering why I did not see the strobe light clear enough. Okay, and now carefully Let's really press it tight. Yeah, looks great. Last but not least I can remove the mask. And the strip, that's it. And I still have enough fuel to the locking mechanism of the canopy. Wasn't too bad. The cable of the strobe light is now running through the gas damper to the instrument panel, where I do the electrical wiring now. With the quick release mount, there is no problem in case of canopy jettison. That hole here fits perfectly for the switch. The switch is uh, combined already with the fuse. So I only have to mount it here and uh, do the wiring with the power supply. Besides of the strobe light, I've got here this connect box with the integrated flam splitter. The flam connect box is an optional control unit. It serves to run the strobe in an automatic mode so that it is activated as soon as another traffic signal is received. The switch is combined with the fuse of 3 amps. So I'm going to attach the red cable to the plus. The blue one to the minus. My power for the strobe. Perfect. I've just made a a quick installation now just to try it out. I've got the power here, I've got the strobe connector here and here it comes from the flam and here this is the connection to my air traffic display which I have installed 
here on the right hand side of the instrument panel. Put it on, then it should work. So let's try it out. First, yeah. Looks good. Here is a status LED on the back side so that the pilot always knows what the status of the strobe is. So now I'm looking for a place for the connect box. Then I put all the cables inside and uh, then the installation is already done. Last but not least, there is the configuration of the connect box to be done. Parameters like flashing frequency and mode of operation can be set. After connecting a PC with the box via the USB cable, you need to install the driver. I did it manually by running the EXIF file on the included USB stick. Then run the configurator software. It is also included on the USB stick. Select the appropriate COM port and the connection is established. Set all parameters the way you prefer. The installation is complete. Never ever look into the flashing LEDs from such a short distance. They may damage your eyes. If you want to see more videos of me, I would recommend you this one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.